We are grateful. I take care of my environment. As a class, practice the new actions that we have created for this week's PBL Rule of the Week. Why do you think we have chosen this expectation to focus on? Why is it so important to take care of our environment? Unfortunately, we have seen lots of rubbish around the school grounds this year. It is really important that we take care of our environment because if we leave rubbish on the ground, it not only becomes a slip hazard for us, but it becomes really unsafe for our local wildlife. All of the wonderful animals that live in our local environment, including the chickens that we are taking care of, could get very sick and die from eating rubbish. On top of that, if the wind blows the rubbish into the water, it makes the water unsafe for all of the animals and humans that rely on it. Man, it's a real mess out here. I'm thinking all of us to do this by myself. Mr. Lynch is trying to do such a great thing for the environment which had a happy B point for the environment and the planet, but unfortunately for him specifically, his B point was that he spent all lunch picking up rubbish. Do you think he used a good strategy this time? What is a different strategy that he could use to have a happier B point for him as well as the environment? Jeez, it sure is a mess. It's gonna take me all lunch to clean this up myself. Hey, you wanna help? Yeah, yeah let's clean it up. Wow, it's so quick when we work together. That's right, Mr. Lynch. When people work together, cleaning up our environment is so quick and easy, and you'll have plenty of time left afterwards to play. Can you think of who you can get to help you clean your area this break? Let's have a look at Miss Edwards and Mrs. DeCamp eating their oranges to see who makes a better choice in keeping our environment tidy. Both Miss Edwards and Mrs. DeCamp wanted to bring a peeled orange to school to eat. Their speed bump was that they thought the juices would leak in their lunch boxes and make them all sticky. Can you identify what strategies they used? Remember, they're both going to be different. And what B points did they get to? Who do you think got to a happier B point for themselves and for the planet? The strategy Miss Edwards used was that she wrapped hers in plastic and foil. Miss Edwards had lots of rubbish that was harmful for our environment, so I don't think that was a very happy B point. Mrs. DeCamp, on the other hand, packed hers in a reusable container. Mrs. DeCamp didn't have any rubbish left from her orange. I think that was a much better choice for our environment. Well done, Mrs. DeCamp. Hey everybody, so this is my lunchbox. It's very similar. Um, as you can see, I don't have any rubbish in here, just some fruits, some vegetables, and a reusable container with nuts in it. Uh, the reason I choose to eat this way is because it's less detrimental to the earth. I don't create any rubbish or any litter, and it's also healthier for me. Food comes in its own packages. I don't need to put a banana in a container because it has a container on it already. Mr. Lynch has no rubbish in his lunchbox. It's full of fruits and vegetables, which is great for his health and for the environment. Go grab your lunch boxes as a class. What does your lunch box look like? How do you think we can make it a little bit better for you and for the planet? Having watched our video for the week, what are all of the things that you and your class are going to do to take care of the environment? Your challenge for next week is to bring a lunch box that has less rubbish in it, and whichever class brings the least amount of rubbish will win. Thanks, Mr. Lynch. So what you guys need to do to win this challenge is as a whole class, get a photo of your lunchbox on Monday and another photo on Friday. And when you send them through, we will have a look and see which class has the most rubbish reduction in their class. Good luck.